Hi, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to teach you on how to save battery on iOS 7. As you can see, I'm, I have a iPhone 5S over here and there's a couple of things that you can do instantly just to uh, save a little bit of battery life when you need it. First thing is to turn off airdrops. A lot of you guys uh, may not know that airdrop is a very good feature that you want to share files from iPhone to iPad or iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to iPod touch as long as they are using the iOS 7 operating system. You can share to contacts only or everyone uh, using the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. From here you can actually press anyone and you can actually go to any photo uh, albums and share files uh, from there uh, to someone that is near to you. But if you are not using it, it will be a waste of battery life. So you can just turn it off from the control center. The control center is just swipe from the edge and up and you'll be instantly turned on the control center from here you can see there's a couple of things that you can actually turn off one of the things that you can turn off is also the bluetooth settings uh, and of course the wi-fi setting bluetooth is also a very big battery hawk unless you are using some wireless uh, bluetooth earphone or speakers otherwise you can just turn it off and i think another good features is to turn off the wi-fi when you're not in use for example when you're outside uh, you do not want the iphone to continuously search for a uh, wi-fi locations to uh, connect to uh, so turn it off when you're outside you can also turn off the bluetooth by going to the settings and turn off the bluetooth from here as well but it's a little bit uh, long window you need to go to the settings go to the bluetooth the same thing goes to wi-fi and cellular data um, you can actually turn off selectively 4g actually use a lot more battery life than uh, normal 3g so you can turn off 4g and you goes down to uh, 3g or gprs connection which will use a little bit less battery life okay the next thing to save on battery life is to turn off location services you're going to go to settings which is this and go down to uh, privacies and go to location services from here you can see there's a couple of application that is turned off uh, that is I have turned off uh, just now by manual for example the camera itself if you turn on the camera uh, every time you take a, a photo a GPS location uh, information will be tagged onto that particular photograph uh, in in some ways it is good for people who want to track where this photograph has been taken but in uh, privacy issues for example if you want to take a photograph with your kids or you let your kids to have iPod touch to photograph you do not want them to uh, tag along a GPS location on every single photograph which they might share to any social network services so turning this off not only save battery life you also save on uh, uh, headaches on privacy issues so other than that all the application that needs uh, you know GPS location you can turn it on uh, for the rest you might just turn it off because it's not necessary you can turn them on when you need it but in the meantime you can turn them off right so that uh, for example whatsapp you want to share your location data to, to your friends you can turn it on when you need it another thing is from system services there is this um, diagnostic and usage uh, gps location you can turn this off as well because uh, basically you may not need them to improve on things the next thing is to uh, turn on limit at tracking you can go to settings uh, and go to the privacy which is this one as well scroll all the way down there's an advertising uh, button here and turn on the limit at tracking which i already turned on so turn it on not turn it off turn it on so that you limit the advertiser from tracking you Another thing is to turn off the uh, push notification. Uh, you go to settings, which is here, go to not notification centers, and you can see there's a couple of things that you can actually turn off. From here, you can see there's some application. Uh, maybe you do not want LinkedIn to keep pushing notification to you. You can just press edit and just drag it down to the bottom. Uh, drag the application that uh, on the right side, press and hold and drag and press and drag all the way down and there is a do not include section here and it will not uh, push any notification to you 
no badges, no sound, no banner, no numbers on the icon. Uh, so for example, uh, this application app of the day, which keep pushing uh, sounds, uh, banners, you do not want that. You can also go to that application itself after you press done. There's uh, uh, banners and alerts. Uh, I do not want banners, so I just press none. Uh, and batch icon with number and sound notification center. You can turn this all off individually and press back and you will see the app of the day in a do not include section yeah so that will do but the, the fastest way is to press edit and just drag down the application that you do not want uh, to have some notification that way you are just save on some battery life as well uh, another way to save on battery life is to change your wallpaper from dynamic to steel the dynamic wallpaper is uh, a eye candy uh, like for example uh, this is no this cancer maybe i choose this one for a little bit easier to see you can see the animation from the background it is an eye candy uh, but however it does use a little bit of battery life so try to turn it off uh, by choosing a non-dynamic choose a steel uh, wallpaper instead and sometimes it's uh, nicer to have a steel wallpaper and another thing to save on battery life is the auto brightness turn it on so that you'll be uh, automatically uh, brightened up uh, based on the lighting condition of your surrounding and you also save on battery life as well another thing to save on battery life is to reduce the motion setting uh, let's go back to the settings go to the accessibility which is uh, over general side settings general accessibility and there is this uh, reduce motion option so i turn it on to reduce the motion that will reduce the parallax uh, effects that make the 3d icons uh, that means the icons when you are turning you actually use some accelerometer to turn the background to make the uh, I, the icons look uh, like a 3d icons but it does not serve any purpose other than uh, eye candy another one is to disable background refresh go to the settings go to the general and go to the background app refresh this is uh to give you true multitasking for example the instant messaging uh, for example the uh, background downcast uh, uh, downloads of uh, uh, the, the podcast uh, that will automatically download when they detect there is a new episode of podcast that you have subscribed to so you can actually turn it on or off if you turn it off uh, they will not uh, you know have this multitasking uh, true multitasking option but I like downcast so for other application you can uh, reduce uh, by turning them off so they will not check and find out any refresh any updates on that particular application here you can see turning off apps may help preserve battery life is stated there as well uh, another way is to turn off the Siri raise to speak option you go to settings go to general go to Siri and there's raise to speak by turning this off you actually save on some battery life uh, so that you when you need to talk to Siri just press and hold the home button instead of uh, you know raise the phone to speak to the Siri and of course uh, there is another option to reduce the battery consumption is to go to uh, turn on the auto lock to a shorter timing go to settings go to general uh, go to auto lock currently I set to never which is the worst setting for battery life um, you want to save battery life turn it to one minutes so that you actually turn off and lock um, the phone automatically after one minute of uh, not using the phone because of recording purposes I, I turn it to never and I think is to turn off the diagnostic and usage setting go to uh, settings go to general go to about and you scroll all the way down there's a diagnostic and usage settings so whenever there is an error they will actually connect to the internet and send information to back to apple you set to don't send uh this is uh you know to save on battery life but if you want to help apple to solve some bugs you can turn it automatically send if you want to right so and of course you can see what kind of data they actually send to for example uh, what kind of error low memory crash uh, what was happening you know they actually sent back to apple so that they can debug uh, what's, what's going on and give you a latest update on that 
Right, so uh, it depends on you whether you want to set that to uh, turn it on, but you want to save battery life, you can also turn that off. Another thing is to uh, save on battery life is to shut down the background application by double tapping the home button at the, uh, at the home here. Double tap and you can see the multitask uh, application shown here in the iOS 7 is a very nice feature to see uh, the, the screenshot of the application that is being used. To turn it off, just swipe up and you actually shut down the application. So uh, to save battery life, shut them down uh, until you're left with a single page on your multitask uh, bar. That will mean that uh, you actually save on battery life and also the memory of your iPhone. If you leave too many applications running in the background, uh, it will actually eat up your memory. Some of your application may crash because of lacking of memory. But uh, it's just a precaution and of course save on battery life. Right, so basically that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya, bye bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.